President Biden at the Port of Baltimore today, one of the busiest in the country, announcing a $3 billion investment at ports in more than two dozen states. Ports are the linchpin, the linchpin to America's supply chain. They keep goods moving, keep the economy strong. Biden says the funding from the Inflation Reduction Act will vastly improve and electrify port infrastructure at 55 sites nationwide. The announcement comes six months after a cargo ship crashed into the Key Bridge in Baltimore, killing six people and closing the port to commercial traffic for months. Some thought the Sippy Channel would be blocked for six months or more. But you cleared it in 78 days. Officials say while ports are a major economic driver, they're also a major source of pollution for workers and surrounding communities. But for too long, they've run on fossil fuels and aging infrastructure, putting workers at risk and exposing nearby communities to dangerous pollution. Studies show more childhood asthma, lung disease, and heart disease, and cancer. And folks, who live close to ports. The investment also meant to support about 40,000 union jobs. Earlier this month, dock workers going on strike at dozens of critical ports around the U.S. demanding better pay, eventually coming to a tentative agreement with the U.S. Maritime Alliance, which represents the ports. Biden says the Port of Baltimore alone will receive $147 million, which will help support 2,000 jobs there and turn it into a zero greenhouse gas emissions facility. Rena Roy, ABC News, New York.